Hoverflies use a time-compensated sun compass to orientate during autumn migration. Researchers Richard Massey, Will L. S. Hawkes, Toby Doyle, Jolian Troskianko, Miles H. M. Menz, Nicholas W. Roberts, Jason W. Chapman, and Carl R. Watton investigated how hoverflies determine what direction to fly during their autumn migration. They did this by catching hoverflies with hair nets as they traversed the Pioness. They made a flight simulator from PVC pipe, a magnet to connect the fly to and a camera to film the flight. The flight simulator obscured the view of the surrounds but allowed a view of the sky and the sun. A shortened sewing needle was glued to the fly's thorax, then connected to the magnet, keeping them in place while allowing them to spin. One batch of flies had their internal clocks shifted by turning their lights on six hours after sunrise and off six hours after sunset for 10 days. Hoverflies that flew with only the sun visible headed almost due south. Hoverflies that flew without a view of the sun orientated randomly. Hoverflies that had their internal clocks set six hours out flew westwards, flying in a different direction compared to the sun indicating that they were compensating for its position given their perception of time. With up to 4 billion hoverflies travelling large distances across the southern Britain regions annually, their migration is likely to have important ecological impacts on pollination, control of green flies, breakdown of organic matter, nutrient transfer and the structuring of food webs.